Hey guys, um, today I want to take a look at a new feature that was just added to ZBrush 2023. Um, I just now got my hands on the new license for ZBrush 2023 since they uh, were bought out by uh, Maxon. And you know, they've been slowly releasing uh, new features here and there, but I haven't seen or played with any of them because I had the perpetual license from uh, before, uh, from Pixelogic. So now I just got it and I want to take a look at a new uh, tool called uh, SlimeBridge. So let's take a look and see uh, how it works. One thing I'm realizing, uh, actually I'm using an iMac uh, 5K Retina display and this, this uh, version of ZBrush uh, currently doesn't have like it's, it doesn't look like the, these are the uh, Retina UI L, uh, buttons it kind of looks low res i i'm hoping they would they will fix this in the future uh updates but uh nevertheless i'm excited to try this uh slime bridge i'm already seeing it right here on the side which is right there so let's see how this works all right so um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab a um yeah why don't we just go with the box that's fine Let's see what the wireframe looks like. And also maybe let's see what the subdivision, uh, this is probably a little bit too high. So let's go to like level three. I'm gonna delete the higher. And so to do the slime bridge, obviously we need two shapes, right? So let's go ahead and duplicate this. And actually before we duplicate it, let's maybe squish it. So I'm gonna maybe do something like this. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna hold on the control key and just, oh, and it's not gonna let me uh, use the control key because I need to delete the other subdivision. All right, that's fine. So let's try this again. I'm gonna grab this, hold down the control key and just drag another one down. Very nice. Uh, let's jump out of the polyframe mode. Holding down the control and drag, I'm gonna get rid of this mask grab my draw tool and let's make a mask so let's see so I'm gonna turn off my X symmetry and I'm just gonna create a mask on the bottom and I kind of like that let's go ahead and go over the edges let's let's challenge the brush and see what this can do and let's go ahead and do one up here as well now, keep in mind, I haven't uh, used this uh, feature yet, so I'm excited to see how this works. All right, so I made a mask on both sides. And now what I can do is I can go to something called Slime Bridge. And let's go ahead and do a, let's just press it. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow. So this is, this is pretty amazing. Um, this quickly creates insanity uh, what happens if we want to control some of this so let's say we want to increase the tension oh so it's I guess it's not in real time so let's uh, go back in time and let's see what happens if I increase the tension and maybe do less branches maybe a little less bridges I'll go from 20 to 10 and maybe less of these guys as well pillars or pillory uh, capillaries all right so I'm gonna do another uh, slime bridge yeah so this is uh, a little less uh, dense um, very interesting very interesting way to quickly create uh, slime but I'm thinking of many different ways of using you can almost make like a quick alien forest I, I bet this would be really cool for plants as well uh, very interesting so maybe uh, let's go back in time and what happens if I move this a little further down just for fun let's see if we can create some distance here do something like this and once again let me just make some kind of a mask do something like that uh, go back to 
slime bridge and let's slime this ooh I'm liking this this is a really cool uh, fun uh, feature interesting I don't know if I would use it with the character though like if he was actually for example this was a mouth and I wanted to do add a slime uh, I guess I would really dial this down a lot so maybe you probably would want if this was actually a you know like a spit right so saliva you probably need a lot more tension and maybe like a lot less stuff so like just really turn this down a lot Ooh, I like the tension I'm not liking um, branches why are there so many branches what if I want, what if I want like one? Oh wow, cool. Yeah, so you could, you could see how you do have a lot of control over this. How about two? Ooh, two went from two to like eight. But either, either way, this is really cool. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys and um, sneak a peek uh, together. So if you have the new ZBrush, you know, you can uh, try it out. If you don't, maybe um, we could just keep track of new features and tools and see at what point it would make sense to uh, upgrade, kind of like I did. All right, so thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.